It's Be Bright. Out and about on the farm. Amazing animals. It's time to set up the shearing equipment. I wonder what those are for? Hmm, and what about that? This man is putting on some special sheepskin slippers. They're called moccasins and he wears them so that he won't hurt the sheep when he handles them. Hurry up, it's boiling in this jumper. Here come the sheep. Now it's time to sort out the ewes. They're being kept in a small pen until the shearers are ready for them. Here comes Bruce. He chooses a sheep and takes it out of the pen. Bruce holds the sheep firmly but very carefully between his legs while he shears the fleece off in one big piece. It's a hard job that needs strong arms. It takes about two minutes to shear a sheep using these mechanical clippers. The world champion can do it in less than 45 seconds. Whew, I bet you wish you could have your hair cut so quickly. <laughs> That's it, all done until next year. Now, who's next? Bruce and his friends are from Australia. They work all summer long shearing Australian sheep. And when it's winter over there, they come to the UK to help shear our sheep. Today, they'll each shear about 200 sheep. The wool is sheared off in a set pattern, shearing each part of the sheep in the right order, so that the fleece comes away quickly and easily, and all in one piece. Ooh, bending over all day is hard work, so this springy harness helps to make it a bit more comfortable. fleece weighs around three kilograms and when it's all off it's collected and carefully wrapped up. Look how fine and white the wool is underneath. I wonder what this wool will be used for. Sheep's wool can be spun into yarn and knitted into all kinds of clothing, from jumpers to colourful hats. Wool is also used to make clothing for firefighters because it doesn't burn easily. Wool is very tough and can be woven to produce hard-wearing carpets and beautiful rugs. Oh, and what's this? Lipstick and soap? They don't look very woolly. Well, sheep's wool is very greasy. The grease is called lanolin. It keeps the sheep dry when they are out in the rain. Lanolin can be used to make all kinds of things, including makeup, skin cream, shoe polish, and soap. A house? How can wool be used to make a house? Well, wool is great for keeping sheep warm, but it can be used to keep our houses warm too. A layer of wool can be laid in the roof to make sure the heat in your house doesn't escape. Wow, sheep's wool is amazing. That's another one done. And another fluffy fleece.
The fleeces are packed into large bags before being sold to a wool merchant. Oh, what's she doing? She's climbing into the bag. Rachel jumps on the fleeces to push them down tightly into the bag. But I think she also does it because it looks lots of fun. Hey Rachel, can I have a go? When the bag is full, it's sewn shut. Heave! Whew, that looks like hard work. Wow, look at that! Three bags of wool! Each of these wool sacks holds 80 fleeces. And there's plenty more where that came from. Shearing this lot will take all day long. While the sheep are penned up, the farmers take the opportunity to check that they are all healthy. And there's more than just wool being chopped off here today. This sheep is having its hooves clipped. Hooves grow just like your fingernails do. If they get too long, they need to be trimmed. Once the sheep have been sheared, they rush off to look for their friends and family. Then it's back to the field. They'll feel more comfortable without all that wool. Shep doesn't look too impressed though. Whew, I don't know. You spend all morning rounding them up, then the farmer just lets them go again. <sighs> It's time to leave the farmers and their sheep. There are over a thousand sheep to be shorn here today. So, <laughs> they'll still be at it when the sun goes down. In fact, they'll probably still be shearing sheep while we're tucked up in bed counting them. <laughs> Thank you.